Aussies open their tour in Britain with a match at the East Mosley Cricket Ground in Surrey. The home team bat first before a record crowd of 10,000. The Duke of Edinburgh, a more than useful cricketer himself, arrives in time to see Ray Lindwall, the Aussies number one speed merchant, take Bernard Constable's wicket with a catch to Bill Johnston. Lindwall to Maguire, who hooks it for a neat boundary. Here's Big Bill Johnston, the fast spin bowler. But Johnston injures his right leg and leaves the field. He'll miss the Aussies' first county match. Now, Keith Miller, not bowling bumpers on this occasion, gives Douglas Insole an anxious moment. Mr. David Eccle sees wicketkeeper Talon Stump McNeil, East Mills' captain, and down go the opposition's hopes. During the tea interval, Lindsay Hassett introduces the Duke to the members of his team, who have been given 244 to beat by the East Mosey team. Among the other personalities present is Sir David Maxwell Fife. When the Aussies go into bat, Arthur Morris leads an assault on Tags Island, onto which no cricket ball has ever been hit. Keith Miller lashes out, but not even the Aussies can reach the island. Australian-born George Tribe scatters Neil Harvey's wicket, but the tourists bat on to final victory. At Lord's Cricket Ground, a new gallery has been built as a memorial to cricketers who gave their lives during two world wars. Paintings from many Commonwealth countries and portraits of some giants of the past decorate the walls. The Duke of Edinburgh steps forward to declare the gallery open, and the Australian tourists applaud as a memorial plaque is revealed. A full display of the county's own emblems are among the exhibits now on show to the public. And historic bats recall bygone summer days when they were wielded by cricket idols who to most of us are but hallowed names in the pages of wisdom. The Duke shows a keen interest in the relics on display, particularly in the original Ashes, the legendary prize of the cricketing season.